In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple scratch game and in this game I'm going to get the dog to chase the cat. So first of all we need to get the cat to move around the screen. So um, this is the stage for the cat so I'm going to start off by resizing the cat because I think it's slightly too big so I'll right click on the, the cat and I'll say resize this sprite and then you get these two arrows that come and if you just move the arrow to the left you can just resize the sprite now I want to get the cat to move in different directions so I go to control and um, my first command will be when um, I click on the left arrow key then the motion the cat will take is um, move 10 steps. However, let's start off by making doing the right arrow key because I'll, I'll explain this to you in a second why I'm doing the right before the left. So now if I click on the right arrow key you'll see the cat will move forward 10 steps. Um, now again when the left arrow key is pressed then I'm going to get the sprite to move 10 steps. Now this time it's going to be 10 steps back so it'll be minus 10. Um, <coughs> so we get it moving backwards and forwards. Um, then another control so when the up arrow is selected the motion I'm going to take is um, change Y because sorry change X by 10 and uh, it uses a graph format so we have an X axis and a Y axis so actually I put it shouldn't be X it should be change Y by 10 so if I click on the up arrow you'll see it will go upwards left and right now if when I click on the downwards arrow then the same rule applies we change y by 10 but we change the number to minus 10 so now we've got the cat moving upwards downwards backwards um, to make the cat look a bit more realistic we're going to um, change the costume so the cat has two costumes. So we go to looks and we go back to our script area and under every single command we'll just we'll just add this next costume command in. So what it does is it flicks between the two costumes here. So we've got a more realistic cat that's running up, down, backwards and forwards. Now we're going to introduce the new sprite, which is a dog. So um, that can be found under the animals section. We click on animals, and there's a number of different dogs here. So you get to choose um, some different dogs, but the one that I'm going to choose is um, dog to be. Okay. Now this dog hasn't got any programming to it it's only got one costume so let's add some programming to this dog uh, first of all we might want to resize it so right click on the dog resize the sprite let's make it a bit smaller now control um, we want this dog to forever point towards sprite 1 which is a cat and let's put another control in so like a little start command so when the green flag is clicked up here the dog will point towards the sprite let's, let's just play this and see what happens so wherever this uh, sprite number 1 moves the dog will look at the cat now the next step is that we want the, to get the dog to move 
towards the cat um, like it's chasing it so um, let's get it to move 10 steps oops it's already got the cat however we want the dog to move slightly slower than the cat so let's get it let's get it to move slower than the cat so oops still quite fast the cat is a lot faster but the dog's quite fast still so maybe we might need to slow the dog down to about two steps not 25 yep so the cat can quite clearly outrun the dog um, we could do the same thing with a dog and change the costumes if we want to by importing a new sprite it's a dog B um, and then like we've done with the cat we can just go to the script and click on not next costume and put that command under here and the dog will look like it's moving so this is a simple scratch animation on um, well not animation a simple scratch game of a dog chasing a cat thank you for watching